<laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Watch Woman 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe, key word, believe in him, will not perish, but have eternal life. How do you do this? Well, you acknowledge the fact that you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ Jesus, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus, rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time. This is the first of Nisan, according to the Jewish calendar, the first of Nisan. Nissan 1. Rapture ready when you're saved, which is going to happen at any time. Sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit will minister to you, change you, feed you the word. He is your best friend. I got to give you this. Now, L.A. was hit with a uh, tornado. L.A. L.A., California. Hit with a tornado. EF1, it was either a... a I don't know whether it was a 1 or a 2. Hold on one second. So, L.A., touch, uh, tornado touched down in L.A. It was a F1 or F2. Touchdown in Montebello, Commerce City, near L.A. And there's videos here showing it. People probably didn't know what the heck was going on. But there's videos here that's showing this. Now, I'm going to show you something. <laughs> Around 11.30, L.A. time, Pacific time, is when this thing started being reported. Jerome Powell didn't give his report until 2.30 Eastern Time. Get where I'm going with this? He didn't give his report about the finance, about the financial crisis until about 2, 2.30. Same time in L.A. They were getting a tornado. Folks, The Lord has been speaking to me. Um, we are not near the end. We are at the end. Um, this is not looking good. So a weak tornado generated by a frigid winter storm in L.A., Southern California, arrived today. About 11.30. Again, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30. It's about the time, between 2 and 2.30, is about the time that Jerome Powell gave his speech about what he was going to do to the rates. Just saying. I'm not done because there's more to this. And it's not pretty. Not at all. So, UBS seeking to terminate Credit Suisse deal. UBS is reportedly engaged in meetings right now seeking to terminate its deal to acquire Credit Suisse. If UBS backs out, 
Remember what I told you the other day about the bulge bracket banks? They're too big to fail. If UBS backs out, then Credit Suisse will fall and fail and enter bankruptcy. And that will mean that a bulge bracket bank, in other words, aka too big to fail, has gone under. And God help the rest of these other banks that are too big to fail. The effects of the global financial systems are right now incalculable. A Credit Suisse default would trigger credit default swaps and would put the bank in default on all of its derivative contracts. This could be a black swan event that sets in motion a domino effect, taking out all everywhere, including your big five here. I'm going to keep track of that. Then I got another report about Russia from War News. And this is, I don't know what to make of this, but the U.S. is desperate right now. So, this is what it says, and it's so off balance, I, I don't know what to think of this. U.S. officials realize that Ukraine will not be able to play the battering ram against Russia for long. Even with all the support of the West, Kiev does not have the resources to win the conflict with Moscow. And this makes Americans look for solutions. So guess what they came up with? The website Foreign Affairs is a hosted article suggesting an interesting solution. Listen to this solution. It's about the creation of a new military security group. The Atlantic Asian Security Community, AASC. The new union would include NATO countries, Ukraine, its allies, and any neutral state that would like to join. In short, it is NATO 2. You have regular NATO, then you'll have NATO too. This mission could lead, could be led by a non-NATO officer from another country that is considered neutral, but must include U.S. troops. Only American boots on Ukrainian soil can ensure Ukraine's democratic future. So why do they need this? The new formation will be able to officially, without cover, deploy its military forces in Ukraine, the publication said. So NATO will exist separately, as if it has nothing to do with it. And bingo, Moscow will have no reason to retaliate against member countries. In addition, according to foreign affairs, it will even be possible to continue cooperation with Russia in the future. This is ridiculous. According to the masterminds of the plan, long-term peace. This will never happen. Long-term peace with Moscow would guarantee that once the Putin regime falls or fails and is replaced by a government committed to peace, <laughs> Russia should perhaps be selected for NATO II membership. Look, if something happens to uh, Putin, it's going to be Medvedev. And Medvedev will not hesitate. He will not hesitate. This is the most asinine thing I've ever heard. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to link all of this in the description box. And... Um, I 
I will be back later. Or tomorrow. Because right now I'm tired and I have to eat something. <laughs> so, but I will be back with more. But this is, um, this is crazy. This is crazy. So, good night.